Interest Rate Conversions. In this section, we'll be looking at how to convert the annual periodic rate to the effective annual rate, EAR, and vice versa, how to convert the EAR to the annual periodic rate. We will also look at how to convert from one annual periodic rate to another. Effective annual rates. In order to understand this concept, we will begin this discussion with measurement skills that we have been using since childhood. We have several standardized metrics to measure distances, mass, depth, and even rates. For example, when measuring mass, some people use grams, some use kilograms, and some use pounds. The idea is to measure the same mass or the same weight. We know that 1,000 grams is equivalent to 2.2 pounds, which is equivalent to one kilogram. Regardless of how the mass is reported, the idea is to be able to capture equivalencies or equivalent forms of weight. Similarly, interest rates on various investments can be reported with varying compounding frequencies, semi-annual, quarterly. Unlike weighing scales, interest rates apply the concept of compounding, which can make determining equivalencies a little bit more challenging. When comparing across investments, the aim is to convert all interest rates with different compounding frequencies to a common equivalent measure called effective annual rate, EAR. EAR is a rate of interest which, if earned on an investment once a year, would provide the same ending result as a periodic rate with compounding during the year. To determine the EAR, we will be using the interest rate conversion function on the calculator, which is labeled ICONV, converting an annual periodic rate to EAR. Let's take an example. An investment offers 5% annual interest rate compounded semi-annually. What is the effective annual rate? To solve such a question, we will first get into the interest rate conversion application. To do that, go ahead and press second, the yellow button, Number two, which says ICONB, which is interest rate conversions. Whilst within the application and before beginning any calculation, we must make sure that the calculator memory is clean. To do this, press the yellow button second and CE for clear work. On your calculator, you'll be able to see NOM, which stands for nominal. This is the periodic interest that you must enter here. Since the question says that the interest is being earned 5% with semi-annual compounding, that is our periodic rate. So we'll go ahead and type 5, and you'll press the Enter button on top. Then you'll press the down arrow key. You'll be able to see EFF. That stands for the effective annual rate. We are not yet ready to calculate this because we need to enter the compounding frequency into our calculator. So once again, press the down arrow key, and you will notice C by Y. This is the compounding frequency per year. Since the interest rate 5% is compounded semi-annually and there are two semi-periods within a year, you will type 2 and you'll press the enter button on top. You will now press the up arrow key to go back to the EFF or the effective rate. In order to get the final result, you'll have to press CPT, which stands for compute. You should be able to see 5.0625% as the effective annual rate. This is the interest you will be earning on a per annum basis if you took into account the semi-annual compounding. Let's take a look at an example where we go from the EAR to a periodic rate, which is in reverse to the previous example. Let's say an investment offers a return of 5.0625% on an effective annual basis. What is the annual rate with semi-annual compounding? To do this, we will once again press the yellow button and number two to get inside the interest conversion application. Within the application, we will clear the calculator memory by pressing the yellow button and CE. You are now ready to key in the inputs. This time in the example, they have provided us with the effective rate. So we'll press the down arrow key until we see EFF, which stands for effective. We will type in 5.0625 and press the enter button on top. We'll then press the down arrow key until we observe C by Y. Here, we will type the compounding frequency with which we want the periodic rate. Since the question is asking us for a semi-annual rate, we will type 2 and press the enter button on top. We will then press the up arrow key twice until we reach nominal. In order to get the final result, 
you will press the CPT button. And notice you observe the 5%, which is similar to the previous example we had worked with. Let's take an example on how to convert from one periodic rate to another. But before we get into the example, there are a few things you need to know about your calculator. Your calculator is only designed to convert from effective annual rates to an annual periodic rate or vice versa, which means from quarterly to annual or annual to monthly, but not from a periodic rate like monthly to another periodic rate like quarterly. If you wish to convert from one periodic rate, say quarterly compounding, to another annual periodic rate, say monthly compounding, you must follow two steps. Number one, you should convert your quarterly rate to an effective annual rate. Number two, you should convert your effective annual rate to the desired monthly rate. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say we would like to convert 6%, which is quarterly compounded, to a monthly compounded annual rate. To do this, once again, let's get inside our interest rate conversion application. Press the yellow button and number two, clear the calculator memory. Do this by pressing the yellow button and CE. Remember, NOM stands for a periodic rate. We will type in six and press the enter button. This is because 6% is a periodic rate which is calculated with quarterly compounding. We will then press the down arrow key twice until we observe C by Y. Here, we will enter the compounding frequency. Since 6% is a quarterly rate, we will type 4 and we'll press the enter button on top. We'll then press the up arrow key until we see EFF and we'll press CPT to get the result. You should be able to see the result 6.136. This is the effective annual rate, which if earned on an investment once a year, would be the same as earning 6% over four quarters compounded through the year. Remember, our example is not over yet. We still need to convert this effective rate back to a monthly rate. So whilst we're still in the interest rate conversion application, go ahead and press the down arrow key until you observe C by Y. Type 12 and press the enter button. 12 is the compounding frequency when you're working with monthly compounding. You will then press the up arrow key twice till you see NOM, that's nominal, and you press the CPT button once again. You should now observe an answer of 5.97%. This is the interest which if earned monthly on an investment would give you the same final answer as an investment that is earning 6% on a quarterly basis. Please remember, the objective of these interest rate conversions was to determine equivalencies. So 6% earned quarterly over the year is equivalent to 5.9% earned monthly over the year.